Welcome to the Dynon Channel, your video source for information, education, and training on Dynon Avionics' industry-leading line of integrated avionics for experimental amateur-built and light sport aircraft. Today's topic, Skyview System, Map Info Feature. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate how to make use of the info function on Skyview's uh, mapping system. Currently on my Skyview, we're looking at the main menu. Button 1 is labeled PFD. Notice button 3 is labeled Map. That's where all the map-related functions lie, so I'll press that now. You've seen this menu before, I'm sure. Notice button 4 is labeled Info. That's where we access all of the information about the airport, including all the data you would otherwise find in the airport facilities directory, for example. So let's press button 4 and see what happens. Before I do, notice that my, I'm currently sitting on the ground on the wrap at my home airport, KPAE, which stands for uh, Payne Field in Everett, Washington. So we're located on the airport. When I press the info button, the screen pops up, ah, with information about Kilo Bravo Foxtrot India, which is Boeing Field Airport in Seattle. The reason it came up with that information is, is before I started filming, filming this video, I was investigating information about Boeing Field. And uh, the system tends to, to refer back to prior info, info information that it knows you were looking at. In my case, there's a couple ways that I can get to pain field information. The quickest would be for me to press the nearest button. You've seen this probably in a prior video. If I press the nearest button, I'm going to see a list of the nearest airports to my location. And my, the airport I'm sitting is at the top, of course. So with pain field highlighted, if I go back to the info button, now the info page shows me information about this airport. To reverse that sequence, let's say I did in fact want to see information about Boeing Field, I would go back to the nearest list rotate my cursor down to highlight Boeing Field, and again when I press Info, now the list is showing me Boeing Field. A second way to change is to move the cursor, which currently is on the APT or Airport Information tab. I want to move that cursor down and change the discrete airport identifier. I do that by using the knob in its joystick function. I'm going to click the joystick down and notice that the cursor now highlights the first letter in that airport identifier. Kilo is the proper letter, so I'll use the joystick to move to the second character. Now I rotate the knob to go through the alphabet, and I want to get back to looking at airport, airport information for pain field, which is Papa Alpha Echo. So I rotate the knob to highlight the letter P. Now I could move my joystick to the right, but notice the system pre-fills the additional characters, uh, the system applies some logic to guess at what airport you're referring to based on what airports are nearest to you. With pain field, uh, properly, the airport ID properly entered, I would move my cursor back up with the joystick, and now I have access to the various tabs of information about pain field. So let's explore what all this information tells me. First of all, on the APT tab, we see the airport identifier the uh, name of the airport and its G, uh, the nearest town that it's referenced with, and then basic information like the airport I elevation, uh, the main tower frequency, traffic pattern altitude, uh, information about fuel, and so on. It also, by the way, gives me uh, relative distance and bearing to that airport and the airport's latitude longitude. Now notice the other tabs across the top. The next tab le is labeled FREQ, frequency. I select that tab by clicking the joystick to the right. Here we have a list of the various radio frequencies active at Payne Field. That makes sense. And by the way, if you had uh, the Dynon Skyview uh, comm radio installed, I could highlight any one of these frequencies, and looking down below you'll see that there's a button that says Tune Comm. If I press that button now, it would push that highlighted frequency to the standby window in my comm radio. This process also works with other types of radios meant by m other manufacturers. Okay, going back to the info page, the next tab is labeled Charts. I'll highlight that now. Now, this tab will only be available if you have subscribed to the Chart Data subscription through Seattle Avionics. 
and the chart data must exist on a USB stick installed in your Skyview system. I'm going to cover charts in more detail in a separate video, but this is where you access two of the five types of charts, and that would be airport diagrams, as, as we're seeing here, and further down on my list are various instrument procedures associated with this airport. Now moving to the next tab, labeled WX, this is where I get access to the text weather data for Payne Field. Notice the first section of my screen shows my METAR information, and down below we see terminal area forecast for Payne Field. There's a bar on the right, so if I rotate the knob, I'll scroll on down and see additional forecasts. And then at the very bottom of this screen, we see winds aloft for the nearest reporting station, which is SEA, Seattle. So that's all of the text-based weather for, for Payne Field. The next tab at the top says RWY, which stands for runway. Here I see a list of the various runways at our airport. We have three runways here. The main runway, the longest, is highlighted on the left side of the screen. So I have a secondary cursor there. And if I wanted to see information about either of the other runways, I would use the joystick clicking up to highlight the middle runway and, again, the top runway there. And then finally, let's look at the last tab labeled RMK, or Remark. This gives us access to all of the text remarks data that, again, you would find in the airport facilities directory. The scroll bar on the right again tells me that the list is uh, longer than will fit on screen at one time, so scrolling my knob allows me to read up and down in that remarks list. And there you have it. That's all of the information available for Payne Field. If I wanted to now explore another airport, again, notice that I can go back to the nearest list. And uh, let's choose Seattle. You've heard me talk about SeaTac Airport, highlighting that, pressing the info button. Now my info page is referenced to Seattle, and all the same tabs apply. So that's a quick summary of the info function in Skyview's mapping system. Uh, thanks for joining me, and tune back, tune back again for other videos in this series. For more information on planning or capabilities of the Skyview system, please see our website at dynonavionics.com, where you can find links to our system installation guides, pilot user guides, and other valuable information like our user form. Thank you for watching the Dynon channel.